everybody welcome back to the channel y'all it's your girl veronica and i am back with another video y'all when i tell y'all your girl have been sick for a few days i've been sick for a few days and today is just now uh i start to feel better today y'all but uh, what's been going on is some kind of cold that I caught y'all I literally have not picked up the camera since um, I think it was Friday or Saturday y'all so if y'all see me sweating it's because um, whatever is going on with my body the sweat is like popping out of my skin y'all so I just been a mess to be honest with you if you can tell by my under eye you can tell that I've been sick, y'all. So what's going on is I was trying to do a, a, a detox, y'all. I think I started Friday. And I started filming the footage of me getting my green juice together. I had got my uh, my jars from Amazon, not jars, my containers from Amazon. And I think I showed you guys well, y'all haven't seen that video yet, but I did film that, okay? So, I said, okay, well, I'm going to start that day. So, I started drinking the green juice, y'all. The green juice was actually good, okay? So, I was drinking the green juice, and I said I was going to drink the whole container of the green juice all day. Which, the green juice was celery, apples, uh, parsley, uh, cilantro, ginger cucumbers and lemons okay and the green apples if I didn't say that so y'all I started drinking that and then after a while I started feeling weird okay I got down to like two bottles I mind you I did seven no six I did six bottles and I got down to two bottles I said okay these two bottles gonna be fun tonight <laughs> and I was just drinking the juice and I got sick y'all so I don't know if the heavy toxins or whatever it is uh, that was in my system started to come out but y'all I was snotting everywhere there was a lot of uh, mucus build up in my chest in my chest walls y'all I uh my face felt like it was a hundred it weighed 100 pounds okay y'all it was so bad that my husband had to get me up to use the restroom i couldn't get up by myself to use the restroom because when i got up i would be so dizzy and so lightheaded y'all and it was just it was bad it was just that bad and y'all i was so afraid that um that I was gonna get Kingston sick. I was so scared, y'all, that I was gonna get Kingston sick. I did not want my son to catch whatever it is that I had. So, <clears throat> y'all, I still had to mother him at the same time. Y'all know as mothers, it gets very, very hard when you are a mother and you get sick and the house completely shuts down when you're sick it's like you have there are some people out there that will have like a mother a sister or somebody that'll come over and assist you um help you with your kids help you keep, keep your house or in order keep it going until um you feel better but sister girl got nobody okay now mind you i do have a mom i do have my sisters but they have their own life and nobody knew you know I didn't call them say hey I'm sick so nobody really knew that I was sick but the people that lived in my house so y'all that was that was the most that was the, oh my god y'all this it was so terrible and I'm just now bouncing back so I said let me just pick up the camera and tell my people where I've been girl I wish this on nobody because this feels terrible I'm sorry y'all this is my daughter calling trying to see one man hold on hold on 
And y'all, it is raining. It is storming so bad. I just saw a limb fall out the tree. Y'all, it's storming so bad out here. It's making me a little bit nervous. Um, but dang, I got the, uh, I'm picking her up now. And then I'm going to head out to go and pick up Kingston. And then, um, I think I'm going to send my husband out to the grocery store because I don't want to get wet and then have a relapse. <coughs> and then have a relapse, y'all. So, I don't know uh, what we're going to eat tonight, but I'm going to figure it out. And um, I guess I will pick you guys back up a little bit later. It was good talking to y'all. I thank you guys so much for listening. And, um, yeah, I'll pick you guys back up next time. So hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today is Wednesday, um, March the 7th. Today is my stepson's birthday. So if you're watching this video, happy birthday, son. But yeah, today is March the 7th, y'all. And um, it's Wednesday and I am headed out to I need to go by um, the Dollar Tree and see what I can find to make Tanaya a uh, birthday pin. Oh, her birthday is tomorrow. Uh, my stepson's birthday is today and her birthday is tomorrow. So she want a, a, uh, a birthday pin made. So y'all, I have no idea how to make a birthday pin. This will be my first time actually making a birthday pin. But I did watch a YouTube video. Thank God for YouTube. But I did watch a YouTube video on how to make a birthday pin. And they look simple. So I already have a glue gun at home. So I'm just going to pick up um, some of the items and some more glue for my glue gun. And yeah, we're going to get her birthday pin made today. Because her birthday is tomorrow. I'm going to pull up now. Um... I'm gonna pull up now at the Dollar Tree and I'll just um, pick you guys back up once I leave out of the Dollar Tree. So hey y'all, I done made it back to the house and I got everything that I need to make tonight a basket. Um, and I got everything I need to make her, um, her pen, her birthday pen. So y'all, I had already started making the basket when I realized that, hey, I'm not recording. So this is the basket that I got from the Dollar Tree, y'all. And then I picked up this paper filler. And I'm filling the basket. I stuffed the basket with paper filler. And then just put this on the, um, in the inside of the basket, okay? So what I got her is, uh, y'all know it's almost, it's almost Easter time. So the bears that they got out are like uh bunnies so i said this would be cute um a cute little brown bunny for her basket so i'm gonna put that in there <clears throat> she loves hot chips so i got her some hot chips she likes sprite so i got her a sprite and then i got some of her favorite candy um she loved the, the uh hershey almonds with almonds she liked the whoppers I got her some Skittles, some M&M's with the nuts, and I got her a box of Goobers, um, wherever they at. I gotta go find the Goobers, but I got her a box of Goobers. She got some, um, I got her a bracelet that has her name plate on it. That's what I was telling y'all about that earlier, and I also got her, um, some lotion and I got her a body spray from Victoria's Secret to put in her basket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, get her basket fixed up and then I'll show y'all what it looked like after I finish. So stay tuned. Okay y'all so this is the spray and the, um, the body lotion that I got from uh, Victoria's Secret. It's called the Aqua Kiss. And then I got the Aqua Kiss Spray. And I also got Midnight Bloom, y'all. So these two really, really, they smell really good. I really like these. So I'll probably go back and get me some of this body spray. 
but uh yeah this is what i'm gonna put in her basket also the candy that i was talking about is these goobers <coughs> these goobers she really liked these y'all don't know why she liked this candy but she really really liked this candy this is her favorite so Ooh, then i got a um this uh basket cover from the dollar tree as well she has this bracelet that has her name on it let me just show y'all real quick <clears throat> it's really really cute y'all you got her name written on it and it says Tanaya so I'm gonna put that in her basket as well so I need to hurry up because right now she's getting her hair done y'all and um, it's probably not gonna take the girl long to do her hair so I'm gonna go ahead and get the basket fixed up I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna fix it up and then it's gonna move kind of fast because I need to get it done before she get back get her hair, you know before I go and pick her up from getting her hair done so let's just go ahead and get the basket completed and then I'll show y'all what the finish the finished results are once I finish
So this is the pen so far and I have cut the strips to go down the bottom part. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue those strips on to the bottom part and then I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like after I put on the strips. It's the birthday girl here. Yeah, because she ain't recording yet and I just got my hair did. Nice wear. You putting this on the YouTube? If you in my camera. I, look, Key, I done told them. I said, stop getting in my camera if y'all don't want to be on YouTube. So they picked up my camera and put their little clips in. And so you gotta do the music. You it. gotta do the music while I'm posing. Well, go and pose. Hold on, you got me in there. Let me get back. No, you, you're supposed to be posing with me. Uh, I don't want to pose with you because you're, you're done up and I'm not. Okay, y'all. So, look. Y'all got to excuse the way I'm showing up on camera. But your girl is tired, y'all. I've been running around in the streets all day today. But I'm trying to make this happen for my daughter's birthday. But, y'all, so far, this is the pen. I have added the ribbon on the bottom of it. And now I'm just going to go around this part right here to kind of cover up this with like some uh, glitter like trim. And then I put the pen on the back right here. I hot glued a piece of the fabric and then added the pen to the back of it. So <clears throat> in the middle, I'm going to put a one and a six. And it's going to be this little uh, glittery one and a six. So I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the trim and then I'm gonna show y'all the end results once I finish. And okay y'all, so this is the finished result and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. This is my first time doing it, y'all. So if it's kind of crooked or whatever. It's because this is my first time doing it. But this is her 16th birthday pin. And look at the details. So pretty. And these are the colors that she's wearing to school tomorrow, y'all. She's wearing green, black, and white. So this is what color her pen is going to be. And I just want to show y'all the outcome of the pen. I think it turned out really, really pretty, y'all. Really pretty. 